we're going to do a wild camp for the difference. So tonight we're going to sleep in a cave. So I've been doing some research and it looks like there's an old quarry in this area. So what we're going to do is go and check it out tonight. We've got some camping gear. Uh, we've got sleeping bags, mats. We've got a few cans of beer. So we're going to head towards what I think is a really big cave. And we're just going to try and bed down for the night and see if we can spend the night there, basically. Maybe get a little bit of a campfire going. Uh, we'll see how we go. So I'm just looking at the map here and... It looks like we've got about a 30 minute walk in from the car. Luckily, it seems to be flat. When you're wild camping, there's nothing worse than dragging a massive pack full of stuff up the side of a hill or a mountain. It's very dramatic around here. Very, very nice scenery, very quiet. I think our cave is somewhere on the side of this big fell here. Hopefully, um, if we've read the map correctly, we'll see. I think we found our cave, so hopefully there's nobody up there, but I'll be amazed if anybody knows about this. It's, it's really, really, really in the middle of nowhere. Oh, right? Yeah, it's bloody steep this. So the cave entrance is about halfway up the side of a really steep cliff face. And you can see it's obviously been mined extensively here. Of course, the only problem is we've got to go up that street and it's pretty slippery. It's also really hard going, but we should be in there hopefully in about five or ten minutes. Famous last words, eh? How are you getting on? Not good. <laughs> You're cramp. What? Just thinking, just thinking five minutes, you'll have a beer in your hand. Still climbing. Probably a few minutes left. Really hard going, this. Really hard going. Looks easy from the valley. And then when you head up, you realise it's on slippery scree. And it's just an absolute bitch to get up. I think we found our cave. What do you think? Very impressive. Massive. Very impressive. Yeah, I think that's where the thing that's out of the Looks like a little bit of a fire pit you could have. Yeah. That's like the south of the man Yeah. Like a bit of a back somewhere. Try that lower cabin, see what that looks like. Yeah, I'm going to go back. So we found our cave, definitely. It looks like it's split into three separate caverns, so we've got the main cavern here. I don't, don't know whether you can see how big that is. It's absolutely vast. Huge, huge ceilings. Almost like a cathedral. There looks to be another cavern down there, but there's a sheer drop off there. And there's a third cavern, we think, around there. We found some evidence of human life, so um, somebody's obviously been here before. So we're going to check the lower caverns out. And once we found a good spot, we'll probably get a fire going and um, see how we go. Maybe have a few drinks. Somebody built a fire pit there? Yeah. I think you can sit down. Looks like somebody's built a fire pit for us, very kind. I'm going to sleep around somewhere. I wouldn't mind just sleeping around there. You'd have to watch your bag though with those fire locks. You'd be fine with those fire locks. Well, I've got the fire pit if you want me to throw it in there. And then at least it's a bit more control. Oh, like a kettle. An old kettle. So we've got a nice fire going here, a few flame fast logs. What have we got? Chaffee cakes, Doritos. What's Super that? Cookies, brandy. Cherry, cherry brandy liqueur. <laughs> Anything else? The Lithuanian lagers. So now, but I've got a cup, so it's just a bottle. 
on the express this pub. I'm on the I'm on a cheap shit cause light. Cheers, man. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Cheers, kid. Cheers. Cheers, brother. Cheers, lads. It's always more difficult after drinking two two cans of beer. Any bottles? Sweet. Yeah. Just was part of it was guest book. Someone up there. I brought the fire pit with me, we've got a fire going. Set up our sleeping quarters here. We've got our tea lights here, just to make us feel at home. What more would you want? Oh, I'll be drinking that. I'm ordering more right, of that. What is it? Like Alexa. Jules. Alexa, I'm being whiskey. <laughs> hey, you know what she's you drinking? Jules Clarion or Clarion? Or that's your drink. Oh my god, that's a good one. No, I'll take it on Keith. Get on that one. No, wait for that. Cheers, cheers. Yeah, when we just cheers. start having nice shots of him. Um, or sleep tonight. Just, uh, just sampling a few bottles of brandy that we brought up. Excellent. Oh, that's lovely, that lad. All right, isn't it? It's that fruity, isn't it? Like, isn't that weird? It's Alexandrian. <laughs> Didn't even oh. know it. it was because there was that land back like things. That's when like, uh, that's almost like medicine, isn't it? That's, that's cherry brandy. Like very that nice, that. Not, not romantic, <laughs> just a set up, innit? Get the whip house in it. <laughs> Get the whip. Get that's the whip next house. to me. Just exploring the cave. It's a big cave, this. Huge cave, this. I think we'll head back down to the safety of the fire. It's the signal to stop. Stop going so fast. Just exploring the cave at the moment. Um, to be fair, after you've had, after you've had a few cans of beer, it's a it's a it's a, it's a, pretty, it's a pretty dangerous affair. Have we found anything interesting? No. No, no, been here in 2019. No. Who's Yolo? Rollo. Yes, Yolo. Yolo. Yolo the rapper. Yeah. Yolo 2019. Oh, I'm taking the as well. Oh, barbecue. Head back to the fire. Oh. Kill ourselves up here. You first get anything? And you're worrying about tripping over stuff. And when you have three beers, you're like, sod it. Time to go to bed. Get in and off sleeping bags. So we all, uh, we all sorted. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm going to leave the fire going. Sweet. Hey. Good night, folks. See you in the morning. I thought it was raining before. I'll leave the fire log for the next person who comes along. Oh, no, I'll lift it up. Just making sure we take all our rubbish with us, dispose of it back at home. I think the best way out of the cave is up there. And if you go to your right, have you, have you got a, a good clear path there? We've just cleaned up our stuff and we're just heading back down to the valley in a minute. Fantastic experience, I'd recommend it if you ever get the chance to do it.